Good morning, seasonal adventurers. It's a Sunday in May. Oh, no. Yes, in May. <laughs> Midway through the month. And here we are at my local go-to shopping centre. Today we're going to look for the aim is a kettle and a microwave. Let's go! Okay, before we go shopping for a microwave, kettle and bed sheets for my new double room, I'm going to go to Brett Top. Something to eat. We recently renovated it. It's more like an open plan. See, there's no windows above here. There was. It was more. It was enclosed last time. Oh, hang on. I need a tray. I totally bypass that. Okay, I have my go-to. Might be a bit heavy for breakfast, but I like these twin sausage buns. So we'll grab those. So twin, uh, no, what do you call it? Tuna. There's a tuna. It should be. It's probably down a bit further. And there it is, the tuna bun. Just grab one of those. I'm tempted to grab by my hand because they're wrapped in plastic, but I'll use the tongs given. Should be enough for starters. I mean, I'm quite peckish, but not starved. I'll get a coffee or a drink elsewhere. Just pause for a moment while I pay. Okay, I'll grab something to drink at Woolworths next door. Hmm, for a drink, I think I might settle on one of these nudie. They all look kind of good. Which combination? I think the mango, passion fruit, pear, orange, and banana. There you go. Keep a happy tummy. Will do. Okay, this is a good place as any to sit. I prefer to be in a corner, kind of tucked away, but yeah, just want to sit down and have some of this spread top. Okay, I like the twin sausage bread because it. Um, it kind of feels like you have a, a bonus, like a two for one. <laughs> so let's start with that. Hmm, really good. Kind of reminds me of just starting off like an entree. Or, you know, it reminds me of airplane food. I wouldn't mind if they served this on the flight. Right, moving on to a sip of the um, nudie juice. Quite, um, quite tasteful. Mm, it's quite rich, it's like it's been um, like as if you blended it yourself in a blender. Okay, I'll just save the other half of that sausage bread for now and let's move on to the tuna, the tuna bun. Okay, the tuna bun is another go-to um, choice of mine because it's got a, an egg in the middle. And yeah, it's quite a decent size. It will definitely fill you up. Mm, the tuna is creamy, maybe a hint of mayonnaise. Look at that sort of creamy texture. But yeah, easier to eat. And again, I wish this was airplane food. It'd be nice to have it on the flight. It'll fill you up um, with good measure. Okay, my stomach's not grumbling anymore. Um, I will save that second half of the sausage bread for later. Um, just one good tip since I'm traveling next week, um, heading to London, first off, before America. Um, a tip, a good tip when I'm overseas or when you're overseas is to buy a drink with a lid like this that you can screw back on because then you can finish your uh, beverage later if you buy I would love to have a, you know I'm a sweet tooth I like to have a can of coke or a pepsi but if I had that and you open the can and you can't finish it it may obviously it will spill if you put it in your bag or if you had um, like a juice pack and you put the straw through the perforated um, uh, you know uh, where you sit from um, again, if you can't finish it all, it's going to spill in your bag. But if you buy a drink with a lid, it may sound obvious, but under spontaneity or you're traveling and you're tired and you just buy a drink and you think, gosh, I can't finish it. If you buy one like this, you'll be able to store it and have it later. 
Okay then, let's head into, let's start, I was going to start off with Big W, but I've already browsed there for the, a kettle and a, a microwave, but I just want to go downstairs one level and see what Kmart has to offer. Okay, please join me. Okay, this Kmart used to be a Target, but it's become Kmart. So let's find the home appliances and also check out the, uh, the bedding for sheets, fitted sheets, pillowcases, etc. Oh, this is an assistance dog. Okay, I guess being a competitor to Big W, Kmart's price of 52 is the same as Big W, or last time I went to Big W for a microwave. Looks like this. Again, I've said it before, I prefer a microwave with a handle as opposed to a push button. It's just my preference. Um, they've got others here, obviously, ranging in increasing in price um, well this one's a yeah big <laughs> I think I might go upstairs to BW because yeah the appeal is that I earn uh, points uh, they call rewards points from managed by Woolworths but Woolworths and Big W are I think uh, owned by the same company umbrella company so and currently they're offering, I think, 1,100 points if you spend $55 or more, and I definitely will, because the microwave alone will be twi uh, the microwave alone will be 52, and I still need to buy uh, sheets and also a kettle, so it'll bump it over um, $55. Yeah, let's just go upstairs and go to BW. The marketing and rewards program has shifted my sales choice, or my purchase choice, I should say. Okay, back upstairs, uh, Westfield's only a ground floor and level one shopping centre, here let's, here's Big W. Let's head to the kitchen area and then the bedding section. Okay, I checked with the staff member who was the meter and greeter on the door and she said I could borrow this trolley to take to the car park because the microwave is a bit bulky. Um, yeah, just to carry by hand and plus I've got a kettle and everything to buy as well. Uh, let's see if I can remember where they're located. Make sure I'm getting close. This is the kitchen area. And then kitchen products. Uh, here we go. We just weave our way over here. Okay. Make sure we're getting close. Uh, hang on. Oh, <laughs> I can't drive this thing. Let's just go around here. Pretty sure this is where I saw it last time. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, she is this trolley's wonky. A bit challenging to drive with one hand. Here we go, microwave. Actually, microwave. Should be microwaves. All right. Um, should be one for 52. 134, but that's not a microwave. It's oh. interesting. Well, if this is the cheapest, they don't have any. Look, it's it's empty. It's also a push button one. Looks like they've sold out of that one. Yeah, I think it looks like they have. Just going to pause for a moment. Okay, so the microwave we might have to get from Kmart. That's okay. This is over the fifty-five dollar mark to get those reward points. This is seventy-nine. Based on one of my um, advice from one of my work colleagues and, and friend, um, she said to get either a glass or a metal kettle as opposed to plastic because it lasts longer. You know, plastic getting heated every time, even though it can withstand boiling water. Um, I was told it's better to get a glass one. This is kind of feels like it's glass. And I like it, the design, interesting that it's got that, I don't know, like a filter or something? Yeah. But yeah, it looks good. I think I'll get one of these, yeah. Let's do that. Okay, but as quick as a flash, I've changed my mind. <laughs> I'm going for, i not heard of this brand, Contempo, but it's obviously cheaper. 25 versus, how much was the Russell Hobbs one? 79. I mean, you can't see inside because it's fully metal, but um, I think I'll go for one of these. Yeah, this box is already open, so is this one. So 
So that's okay, I've checked all the parts are there and there's the instructions. So yeah, let's put this one in. If they <laughs> question me, I can say I'm happy to buy it. Yes, this one is wrapped still in its plastic where these two are displays now, they've been taken out of the box. Alright, kettle ticked off the list. Okay, as for a toaster, again a metal one might be better. But I'm willing to try this plastic one. It's like a toy. <laughs> Looks like a toy. It's only $7.50. Can't get cheaper than that. Alright, I'll take one of those. Okay, I need to buy at least $22.50 more to reach the $55 mark to earn the bonus points. Uh, maybe a sandwich press. Let's go over here. Okay, Contempo brand again. Looks pretty solid. I mean, there's some others where the, the hinges are very flimsy. This looks pretty solid. Yeah, been coming into Melbourne's winter, June, July, August coming up next month, next three months. A nice toasty, cheesy sandwich would be great. Yeah. Right, let's get one of those. Oh my gosh, I'm 50 cents short of the $55 mark. Okay, what can I top up? Let's have a look. Okay, I found the bedding section. Let's find some fitted sheets for a double bed. Sheets, pillowcases, etc. Okay, this one's a double sheet set. $27. You get one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, standard pillowcase, two pillowcases. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, that was a big haul from Big W. Um, I'm going to go back to the car and deposit all these items and return their trolley and then I'll, or maybe I'll, I'll target uh, Kmart probably has their own trolley or other system um, and I'll have a look at their microwave again downstairs all right join you in the next vlog I'll finish this one up um, maybe I'll continue it yeah let's continue it <laughs> as in just continue it on the same video instead of multiple separate videos let's make it one big shopping video we're S-H-O-P-P-I-N-G We're shopping Yeah, this microwave will be adequate for my needs Got the Kmart trolley handy here Just load it up I've got plenty of stock, oh, they've got a larger one This is 25 litre, it's 28 litre I think a 20 litre is fine for my little apartment Oh, it's quite a weight though, it's not light, so anyway, there you go, microwave ticked off. Okay, another house uh, apartment item done. I'll um, say goodbye for now. Thanks for watching.